There are many important priorities in the bill that will bring real benefits to Americans across the nation for workers and families in districts like my own in northeastern Pennsylvania. This bill includes a 23 percent increase to the Assistance to Coal Communities program, which will, meet, will bring needed jobs to former coal communities. The bill also increases funding for climate research so we can make decisions based on solid science going forward, takes important steps to prevent opioid abuse, reduce gun violence, and improve school safety. It works to combat child predators through the increased funding for the Internet Crimes Against Children Task Forces, which are on the front lines of halting the despicable spread of child abuse on the Internet. And it addresses the dangerous practice within federal prisons. We fund the Bureau of Prisons. Within the federal prisons, this practice of assigning support staff to perform correctional officer duties, referred to as augmentation, uh, counting psychologists and art teachers as, as correctional officers is wrong and it's fudging the numbers. Staffing shortages in prisons contribute to overcrowding and violence, and these additional resources improve the safety and security of both staff and inmates. Finally, this bill helps all Americans feel safe in their communities. And I want to be very clear. This bill puts much needed funding toward our nation's police departments and provides critical resources to improve the training of law enforcement officers. It also offers common sense bipartisan policing reform solutions. This is an important bill with far-reaching benefits that we can all be proud to support. I again thank my fellow members of the subcommittee, staff, and again the chairman for his exemplary leadership on the fiscal year 2021 CJS appropriations bill, and I yield back.